was the night before Christmas. And Liberty Whispers decided to record some Christmas rapping. Not as in hip hop rapping, but present rapping. You know, the thing that happens, well, in my house on Christmas Eve. It's somewhat of a tradition because that is right. This is Christmas Eve at the minute. Santa is on his way. And I did have something else planned in terms of Christmas videos, but with it being the season where nothing really ever goes to plan, um, we're having this instead. So hopefully. It will be of some interest. Hopefully it will be relaxing, but I don't know. So I'm doing some scratching. Um, I don't know why. I haven't got knits, I'm sorry. I'm not giving you knits for Christmas. Um, but yes, I thought that it would be quite good to do a little sort of Christmas Eve ramble while I put together some presents. Um, as I said, on Christmas Eve, um, I find that's when I like to do like the majority of my gift wrapping. It kind of makes me feel more Christmassy, I guess. And it's just something I've always done for years, so it's kind of become a tradition of sorts, I guess. Um, once of a year, I used to always watch the first Home Alone when doing present wrapping. But I've stopped doing that since, because I've seen it enough times. And... I don't know, it's just something that stopped. And obviously this year, I'm talking to you guys, whilst I snip and scratch myself. <laughs> And um, make up a really hacky hatchet job of Christmas wrapping. I am one of those people that just cannot wrap presents for my life. I'm hoping this is going to be relaxing, and I'm hoping that the snipping is not too loud, but. Hey ho, however it turns out, it turns out. Um, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty terrible at rapping. It happens by magic, really, I guess, because I can be that bad. Um, more often than not, I will cut either too much or more typically too little paper to actually cover the gift, so. I'll get the gift in and I'll fold it over and I'll get the edges like all pointed out. It's not straight, it's not creased nicely. It looks like um, a, a dog <laughs> sort of gnawed at it for the most part. And then I will be left usually with like a great big square in the middle where the paper doesn't stretch over. And then I'll have to make like a makeshift patch of wrapping <laughs> and that will usually fill the void so I literally have patches on most of the presents I give so if you are looking a present from me in the future don't expect nothing less than a dog's dinner almost quite literally um, I think my dogs, my neighbour's dog, Lou, who is a little white Scotty dog. I think that's what they're called. He's been round. Um, not that he comes round often, but they were storing some presents for their kids here so that they didn't see them um, until they were meant to. And so they came round to pick them up. And Lou was just obviously full of the festive spirit because he just came bouncing out of the house and he ran around and 
just zipped straight into my house and did that that really cute thing dogs do um, when they find somewhere new or somewhere they haven't been for a while just started sniffing everything in sight like mm, what's this mm, what's in there and then he eventually stopped and we played tickles well I played tickles and he just got the benefit of it but he is a very cute dog and it's kind of nice that he's come round in one way or another to visit for Christmas um, so yeah that happened what else has been going on this Christmas Eve actually Christmas Eve tends to be just as nice for me as Christmas Day because I tend to do just as many nice things if not more than Christmas Eve and I don't know if that's the same as anyone else but um, and it's not usually very traditional stuff that we do like we'll often um, go to the movies or I'll often go to the movies with someone and we did that this year I went to see um, Life of Pi, the new Ang Lee film, um, which is good. Had a few problems with the way it told its story, um, but there's some sort of minor technical gripes. Um, some of the transitions, the framing of the narrative was a little um, bumpy particularly in like the first half hour but other than that it was actually really enjoyable and visually really really stunning definitely one of if not the nicest looking films I've seen this year although Skyfall the James Bond film does actually rival it in the looks department to a degree mainly because of Roger Deakins cinematography but again here I am just babbling on about films but anyway I went to see Life of Pi that was my Christmas Eve film this year and it was rather good and then after this we went for some dinner strangely enough it was some Indian food which is always nice I had a new well new-ish Indian restaurant in town and that was rather nice By the time we'd finished, I was stuffed and I was ready to just kind of fetch out, but decided to have a little drive around in the car and have a look at all the Christmas lights in the neighborhood. Um, and that was rather nice as well. has been um, my Christmas Eve um, and I kind of savoured it because I am unfortunately working tomorrow night on a Christmas day night shift going in to Boxing Day morning which I'm predicting will be absolutely dead so it should be interesting to see just how quiet it is although I'm not particularly psyched about working Christmas day it could be worse I'd rather work Christmas day night than work Christmas Eve night um, and so yeah so that's going on um, what have you guys been doing for Christmas Eve. What have you guys been doing over Christmas in general? Um, have you been spending it at home or have you gone elsewhere? Perhaps you've gone to another country. I know some people like to head off to foreign countries and climates. Um, I've never really got that myself. I've always kind of liked being um, at 
home, or at least in my home country for Christmas. I don't know why. Um, I mean, I'm always looking to escape the rest of the year, but there's just something, you know, nice about knowing that you're home at this time of year. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys have been doing over Christmas. And if Santa has been good to you this year, if you've been a good little girl, <laughs> which of course I'm sure you have. too bad actually not looking too bad at all anyway I'm going to leave you guys here I'm going to finish up the rest of my wrapping I'm going to listen to some Bruce Springsteen because just because I bought Born to Run this week as a little gift to myself um, and even though it's not strictly Christmas music there's some sort of plinky plonky honky tonk melodies in there and some some seasonal slash all year round saxophone goodness in there as well so me and the boss we're gonna finish doing our wrapping and um we're gonna bid you a farewell a wonderful holiday season um i hope it is a one to remember for all of you um and yeah go enjoy and i just want to say thank you for uh, listening and kind of welcoming me back after somewhat of a prolonged hiatus it's um it's really good to be back and uh yeah look forward to 2013 you'll be seeing uh and hearing more of me then but until then enjoy the holidays and um i'll speak to you soon <laughs>